another DIY sketchbook slash handmade journal tutorial. So yeah, this is the following of my previous video about it. So if you're new here or didn't watch the previous video, I really recommend that you at least watch the one with the binding and the sewing of the sketchbook. And the better would be to watch the two previous videos, starting by preparing the paper, measuring, cutting, putting it the right way in the sketchbook and making the holes and everything so that you have the full whole tutorial to make your own unique wonderful sketchbook or journal. Feel free to follow the links in the description or to click on the little eye that is going to appear just in here if you want to watch the previous video and to be sure not to be lost in this one. So last time we were together at putting together two signatures, we mean sewing together two groups of paper so that it can create sort of piece of sketchbook and so this time we're going to work on adding some more signatures on it so sewing one more and then one more and uh, making a sketchbook with how many signatures and amount of paper you like. Please note that this video is a sharing of my own little method so probably not uh, the only one possible, the only way to do it and maybe not the best so that's only yeah, the sharing of uh, how I do things hoping that it will be helpful for you. So this is going to be my uh, May sketchbook. I am going to bind it uh, right now and I am using some smoother paper because I include more writing and other things along with my watercolor these days. So I'm going to start with the two first signatures exactly the same way than we did earlier in the previous video with a sort of a lime green thumbnail. So at the end of this step of binding the two first signatures you just pull your needle out of the last hole in here and if you did it the same way as me without any knots at uh, the beginning you have the tail and the thread on the same side and then we are going to make a knot between these two but a thing I discovered by trying to refining my binding technique to share it uh, with you the best I uh, could that the best way to have a tight uh, binding and a tight knot is not uh, tying it by the outside like that but uh, rather once you remove the, your build-up clips by the inside by pulling your thread just uh, inside the sketchbook and now you can make a knot way more easily than in the outside and a lot tighter. Here it is, two knots, so then I bring back my uh, thread out of the sketchbook again and we are ready to keep going by adding our next signature so I just put it on the top obviously just insert uh, the needle in the hole nearby pull your thread then move forward. You can start, uh, you know, to the left or to the right of the sketchbook at the same, so maybe for you it can be the reverse, but I, this doesn't matter at all. Pull the thread. And then my pro tip is tightening your binding as you go, which means that uh, you are going to pull the thread really tight so that this little loop you may see in here tighten as you go. So. I'm going to pull it this side and you can look at the other side too. So I press on the sketchbook to have it tight in here. Here we go. And then press it in here to get this tight in the inside too. And the idea of this binding with more than two signatures is using the little thing in here. I'm going to remove the thread so you can see more. Is using this little stitch just underneath to bind the new signature to the whole sketchbook. So just uh, pick your needle. And pull your thread underneath this little stitch. Here it is. Once again, if you are worried about it, you can always press at the top and then pull the stitch and then we are going to insert the needle in the exact same hole and to move forward in the sketchbook to get to the next hole 
and you press the previous one and pull a bit to tighten the previous uh, stitch and then use the stitch between the two previous signatures to attach uh, this one pull and use the same roll go forward to the last hole or the next one depending on how many you choose to make and then do the same press on the sketchbook to tighten your binding if you like then use the previous stitch between the two signatures to bind it here it is and now guess what we're going to add a next one if we like and then we could keep going all day <laughs> just quickly so that i am sure it's okay for you so just uh, putting your needle in the hole moving forward Sometimes if it's make a bit of a knot or something, you just have to pull the thread the other side and then pull it again the right way. So press the previous one and pull in here to lose a little loop and get it tight. And then now we are going to use uh, just the loop we made between the two signatures. In fact, uh, you have two thread because it's a kind of little loop so I just pick the needle in both of them then back in the same hole move forward Press the previous one and tighten it. And then stitch in the previous loop. Go back to the same hole. I was so happy about the feedback on the previous tutorials and so glad every people who made it told me it was so easy, that's wonderful, now I have my uh, unique own sketchbooks. Thank you so much for following the tutorials and for giving me your feedback and I am so happy that it's uh, easy, handy and helpful. Then simply do the same. Insert the needle underneath the previous loop. And then put your needle in the last uh, stitch. I mean this one you just made uh, right now in order to make a knot. Press on the sketchbook and tighten your knot. And here it is, your binding is done. And what I was thinking is I still have quite a bit of uh, thread in here. So as this is my May sketchbook and I don't know if I am going to need more signature or not, I may keep the tail like that so that I can just use it if I want to add uh, one more signature later. Or you can cut it and you know that's always uh, really easy to make a new knot to use a new thread for the next uh, signature. So that way you're able to make uh, your sketchbooks the thickness you want. I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful for you. I admit I worked a bit uh, on my own method before sharing it with you to be sure uh, I was uh, sure about what I was doing and to refining a bit uh, my techniques. And the next step is going to be uh, the cover. So yeah, I know that uh, these tutorials take a bit of time because I want to work on uh, some other kinds of video as well but I hope to be able to work on the cover tutorial quite soon. If you're new here and want to subscribe feel free to do so and to join the creative adventure with us. Thank you to everyone and uh, spread uh, the world with creativity and see you next time. Bye!